What's going on YouTube? Kyle can come at you with another Final Fantasy Rookie Keeper Relic Draw video. If you're on join please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. All right, so I didn't realize these phases were going to be so short. <laughs> so let's take a look at the next phase of the Super Soul Break uh, banner. Okay, so for first up, we have Hope Super Soul Break, the Hawkeye. Well, that's Resort from the Hawkeye. 90 attack, 133 magic, 71 mine. So it's not bad. I'm not really too sure why it throws the mine. No, I know, because Hope is a red mage. Hope and... Yeah. And then so... And Renoa can be a bit of a red mage too, I think. It's a ranged weapon, that's great. Deals 8 holy magic attacks to one enemy. And plus 10 magic attack. Magic for mastery. Um, this seems okay. Um, it doesn't really have anything else to it to be real to be honest um i think the multiplier is okay um this weapon i think is what is a good this is a good soul break but the flexibility of this weapon is not so great so i wouldn't really advise pulling here for this um although getting this does give you a good weapon for both renoa and hope and by association tyro so and idea i think idea can use throwing weapons as well because she's coming up in a few weeks actually hmm Anyway, I like I like this weapon. It's not bad. Next up, we have the Magic Comb for Red 13. Another like, you know, limited usage weapon, but 130 attack, 90 mag 98 magic, 95 accuracy. I don't know why I include the accuracy that time. There's 10 uh, random physical attacks and grant shell to all allies. Okay, so you guys know that I like this one because I pulled it by accident, and uh, I was using Red 13 for quite some time because I had it. Um, you know, it turns him from your average support character into um, a support character that can also deal damage along with granting Shelga. So I think this is a great soul break on an okay character. Um, it's It has its uses, but again, this weapon has very limited... Um, you know utility so it's not that great in the long run but if you do get it red 13 should definitely be a part of your um your team you know assuming you don't have someone you don't have like um mighty guard eight or something like that like if you're like me you don't really have defensive um good defensive uh soul breaks then this, this is definitely you know like a huge step forward for red 13 but if you have like lunatic high you're probably gonna be using that Next up, we have the Last Judgment Grimoire, 130 attack, 129 magic, 108 mine. So it's quite good stats. Uh, usually the Grimoires have uh, really good stats. I mean, they should because, you know, they're Grimoires. Uh, do three successive physical earth attacks to all targets unique to Tyro, obviously. Plus 10 attack for mastery. Um, the 10 attack is nice. Um, so it allows Tyro to hit harder, you know, as your support character, assuming you're using Grimoire. So that'll be good. Um, thing is, if you have Grimoire, you're probably not using this. Oh, well, when I say Grimoire, I mean wall. Like, you know, Sentinel's Grimoire, not like, you know, this one or Healing Grimoire because those are just butt cheeks. Um, yeah, the plus 10 attack is nice, a little, little extra bonus damage, but you're probably not going to be using this all that much. Like, if anything, you'd probably be, be using um, Stormlands Grimoire instead over this. I'm pretty sure that has a better multiplier and it hits four times, so... Not only that, I'm pretty sure more and more bosses are get, becoming immune to earth damage. So this is this is like honestly, I think this is the worst relic on the banner. Next up, we have the Fairy Flute. 85 attack, 117 magic, 137 mind. Changes Ico Soul Break to Flames of Rebirth Grants. Re-raise and restore a moderate amount of HP to all allies. Now the re-raise effect, um, again, like I don't really like re I don't like re-raise in this game because it like you get punished for it quite quite harshly. Uh, it does protect your metals, but if you're coming back at 40% HP with no mitigation, um, you know, via Shell or Protega, you're probably going to get put down by the boss, because if you're using this, more than likely, well, I should also explain that when I, when I'm, like, when I talk about these, like, I talk about them from, like, kind of more, more or less of an, a, an endgame perspective, so to say, um, as if I'm fighting an ultimate boss, like, being at 40% HP without Protega or Shelga is not going to help anybody, so... I don't really think this is all that good. For a normal player, yes, this would be really, really good. But for, you know, like someone like me, or like, you know, you're clearing um, later content, this really isn't that great. The AoE heal is nice, but the re-raise effect really isn't. And I don't know why they keep giving that re-raise effect to our white mages right now. I guess because it catered more towards, um, they catered more towards um, beginners. Here's a relic that I would love to have. 
Uh, save the queen for Final Fantasy IX from Beatrix. 136 uh, attack, 80 mind, so it's not bad. Uh, you give the paladin Cecil Beatrix, you know, give it to your, your, your paladin. You know, you'll be good to go. Um, change the Beatrix soul break to Seiken, stock break. Deals three physical holy attacks to all targets with a moderate chance to sap them. I think the main reason why I like this is because not only is, is it on Beatrix, a character I like, but also has a chance to sap um, all targets. So as much as I would love to pull for the soul break, I am definitely not going to try because this banner is pretty poopy. And Beatrix gets uh, better soul breaks uh, a little later on. Like her her super soul break is phenomenal. Um, and yeah, I do li really like the sword though. Like I, I think it's a it's an okay weapon. Next up, we have the Wing Edge for lock. One twenty attack, eighty mind. This seems a bit weird on a weapon for lock, but we'll get into that momentarily. Uh, deals f uh, fire physical damage to all allies and restore a small amount of HP to all allies. And there's where the mine comes in because this has um, this has a slight cure effect on it. Um, I'm not really sure why that's there. I guess it's because of the Phoenix uh, Phoenix Plunder. They can't really give you like re-raise. I mean, they could give they could raise <laughs> the allies, I guess. But that eh, I don't know. Because the lock coming, the lock, the heal coming from this won't be significant. So there's really, really no point in trying to pull for this, unless you really like lock. I mean, if you like lock and you want this, go for it. I wouldn't recommend it though. Decent enough throwing weapon, but yeah. Next up, we have a phenomenal relic here, Lulu's hairpin, which I just pulled recently in my lucky draws. 31 magic, 81 defense, 129 res, 30 mind. Change Lulu's soul break to focus. Focus is one of the best soul breaks to have if you're using a mage party um i think actually it's probably the best out if you're running a mage party uh it raises your magic by 20 percent and your res resistance by 50 percent so this combined with wall hit you hit the soft cap for resistance immediately and you know it raises your magic as well and it stacks with uh magic infusion so that's phenomenal but the only thing about this relic here is that it's, it's on such like a bad banner that it's like one relic you can't really just just go all in for one relic like i say that all the time and then sometimes i do it well i don't really say sometimes i i, I go for one relic in in a banner but i like if there's one relic in a banner i like i try to hold off from pulling it but usually if, if there's multiple relics in a banner i'm like all right you know yolo i'll just do a few pulls here or there but this is a great relic um it's just a shame that it's on such a bad banner Next up, we have the Avis Killer, another relic that I pulled recently, which I think is another great relic. 121 attack, 31 magic, 31 mind. You know, those for, I mean, I guess like Rosa, or your Paladin Cecil, or stuff like that. Uh, these physical damage to all targets, temporarily lowering their res and defense. Now, I'm fairly certain that's uh, mental and um, mental and armor breakdown. So this is huge, um, you know, because this will stack with your full break and your armor breakdown. So you'll be doing like tons and tons of damage. Uh, this is great. I lost her to stay in the back row, obviously, uh, because she uses bows. But the fact that like it's stacked with full break and mental and magic break and mental I don't know, mental break and armor break is huge. Um, that greatly increases your damage output by a lot. Those of you that are, well, I think this video will go up before that other one. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I like this relic. Mostly because I have it and I'm using it a lot. So finally we have the Holy Lance for Mog. 110 attack, 120 mine. That's actually quite interesting for a lance. Changes Mog Sunbreak Mongs. Mog's Soul Break to Sunbath. Grants major region to the party and raise their attack. Now this used to be like a pretty decent relic until All right, it didn't come out yet, and I'm like, wait, it didn't come out yet until uh, until Scream comes out. It's interesting that it, it like it gives you regen and raises your attack, but it's gonna get outclassed by Scream, so I wouldn't really go too hard uh, pulling for this. It's interesting that it has mine though. I can't really think of any like healer that can use uh, spears outside of Mog. But yeah, anyway, let's do 100 gem draw, get this three star, and I can start streaming. Because now it's 12.45 and I still haven't started streaming this Sunday night at morning, midnight, Sunday. All right. 
Let's see that three star though. Nice. This again? What is this, Dragon Claws, I think, or something like that? Maybe. I don't know. Wiring Claws. All right. So, anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share your support. I do enjoy reading your comments. Be sure to share the video with your friends that enjoy following Fantasy Ricky Bowser. It really does help me out. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Link down below so you can keep up with me. Also, the Discord link will be linked down below as well, so if you want to, you know, come chill, hang out, talk about Final Fantasy, Rec Keeper, Pokemon, Digimon, all that other stuff, that will be linked as well, and I will see you guys next time. Later.